So basically, we've got 14 panels, um, and they're uh, each at 270 watt. Uh, currently, they're putting out electricity that's being used by my neighbors. Um, so that's energy that Rocky Mountain Power doesn't have to provide to the system, doesn't have to uh, generate from a distant plant. That's another uh, avoided cost of Rocky Mountain Power is to the infrastructure, is that when you're generating solar energy from a rooftop, it's, going, it's being consumed locally. It may not even make it back to the closest substation. But uh, the power that Rocky Mountain Power is providing um, is coming, you know, in some cases, great distances over transmission lines where you have loss of energy. So this is uh, more efficient in that regard. Um, there are other costs too. Uh, Rocky Mountain Power, for example, will be able to charge when the people that they provide with my energy um, at peak, uh, peak load, uh, the, the top dollar, the highest rate. Um, and when 